listening to Shut Up and Invest. And we are live in Shut Up and Invest. And we got the Cash Home Queens in the house. Cash money for the 2019. (laughs) 2019. Why don't we introduce the Cash Home Queens? We got J Money in the house, obviously, always. And then we got Miss Mari. Hi, guys. How are you? Born and raised from? Venezuela. Born and raised in Venezuela. Living in? Miami. There you go. But from Broward. (laughs) <laughs> but from Broward Let me just put that out there <laughs> But from Broward So Venezuela to Broward Then to Venezuela Miami. to Broward Now yeah wow. Exactly We love you Broward too To Miami And who's your partner In crime Well which one The shy I have, one I have, I have two <laughs> The shy one The one over here My name is Aidelis As you can tell by the name I'm very Cuban <laughs> <laughs> And I am Cuban Born in Cuba I grew up in Houston, Texas and I have been in Miami for 11 years now. So now I'm very Miami, I would say. She's super Miami. They can they tell I'm Cuban too? Yeah. For sure. <laughs> and you've been in real estate now for how long exactly? This would be full time, my second year full time. Going on your second year, right? Mm-hmm. Just- Going on my second year. I, I did one year where it was just kind of like the training wheels. I was figuring out real estate. I was doing it part time. I had my full time job. And then last year was my first full-time year that I really took the jump, quit my job, went all in. And then this is my second year of really just being full-time committed to real estate. Awesome. And Mari? Oh, wow. So (laughs) I just started the journey, uh, what, three months ago, I want to say? Yeah, three and a half months ago. You're a newbie. Yeah. Big time. Definitely. Not even a year. And you guys are working together as a team. And we are. That is my partner, my best friend, my business business partner. In, in the game. Yeah. And you just closed your first deal. I did. Hey, yeah. 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 about a second. Yeah. <laughs> money, money, money. In the bank. <laughs> money. <laughs> money in the bank. <laughs> Before we get into the story of Cash Home Queens and what you guys are doing and the whole premise of the show. Sounds good. Let's talk about the, did you get your check yet? Uh, we deposit the check, so we should be getting it soon. You deposited yeah. the check in the company account. Correct. Okay. Exactly. So. And then you're going to cut yourself the check in a For little sure. bit. How's that, that feel? A day or two. How's that feel? I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> that how first much check. We can I say, texted her. I we texted can say, her. Yeah. We can say how much it was. It was $9,000, yeah. $9, which is her first commission. Nice, $9,000. Nice. That's so. a realtor commission, right? Too. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah realtor commission. Was it a listing or you were a buyer's agent? Buyer's agent, yeah. Buyer's agent. When did you get your license? Uh, January. Nice. I started working like middle of February around there. And already going to cash that first check. Do you know what you're going to do with the first check? Not sure. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. All right, cool. So today's premise of the show, you guys are going to be reoccurring guests, hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully, as long as you stay on the journey. And you guys (laughs) are, well, Ayelis, you've been doing it now and you've had a killer rookie year. You were a top producer in your brokerage right now, and and you mostly as a buyer's agent with a couple listings, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Last year that was my first full time year. I did pretty good for what I would consider a rookie, and then this year it's going. You know, business is coming from all different directions. So I decided in order to scale my business to to bring help along because the first year was just all me, 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 me doing all the work, and I realized. That in order for me to grow, I have to bring good quality people onto my team. And it's hard to find good quality people like Maria. She hadn't thought about real estate until (laughs) this year. Um, But I've tried with other people trying to bring them along and teach them the work. And it just doesn't stick because a lot of people are not committed. So she, Mm -hmm. from the moment she got her license, she's been in the office with me every single day learning. And that's why... Three months into the, to the business, she closed her first deal. And then now she has another deal on the contract. And then a lot more that we have going on. And now I'm bring her, bringing her onto this, you know, investment journey. And I'm sure we're going to we're gonna do it very, it. very well. All right. So you guys are, well, we're going to document the process. Jay, what's the, what's the premise of the show? So we're going to basically document them. We're going to start getting into wholesaling and investing. Because, um, again, we're not wholesalers. We invest. But wholesaling is one tool. So they're just getting started. They've been doing some cold calling. <laughs> yes, we Before have. Before I see some clips of that, you know, <laughs> yeah, enjoyable, some enjoyable time. Late night cold calling. They went, they, they went uh, driving for dollars. <laughs> they the other did, dollars. last we'll Sunday. Oh, that. my God. They actually <laughs> knocked on some doors. 
So. Marty has like a, 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 I'm the one that's always talking. I don't shut up. And I'm the one that is like, okay, let's do it. Let's, and I, Marty has an interesting story about this weekend. <laughs> we'll, we, get we'll, we'll, get we'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah. Hey, we'll get there. Give him something to come back to. We were okay. producers. Okay. 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 You almost got shot. <laughs> you almost got shot. <laughs> it was, a, <laughs> for dollars, it was an interesting, yeah, it was so an interesting story. We're going to actually show you how these two are getting started from scratch. So this is technically, scratch. we could say, of their week one. Yeah, we can say week one. Yeah. They just finished driving for dollars. They've been doing cold calling. They got some leads. We're gonna be trying to bring them back every thirty days at least, and they're gonna be giving their update of how yeah. things are going. And hopefully soon, by the next show, the challenge is already getting their first deal on the contract, if not closed. For sure. Yeah. That's the goal. That's definitely. The goal. Uh, you heard that? That's the goal. So if they don't do it, <laughs> in thirty we days, talk about it on the show days. and why not? So yep. everybody who's new out for there, you guys, you guys can see the journey. Um, yeah. Not just from us, we've been doing it, but from someone who's just getting into it. And that's kind of the dynamics we're going to bring to you. So yeah. And anybody who's excited. new, they're going to have a deal. They have yeah, like three you guys have a deal. Oh, three, three deals. deals. Yeah. You go to three, I'll take you to Sizzler. <laughs> 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 no, we're, we're learning but we're So what made you guys Want to get in the The other aspect The other side The whole selling side I actually have A, a good friend of mine Who <laughs> introduced me I, I, I knew a little bit About real estate investing When I started Into real estate I got introduced to it But I kind of went The other direction And I stuck to Residential real estate Because it's just the real estate investing to me is a it's a bigger bigger animal than just is. residential real estate because residential real estate I had business coming from you know my circle of influence and and internet marketing that I was doing and I wasn't experienced enough about the real estate process to really dive in into real estate investing I feel you have to have a better understanding of just real estate itself and I have that understanding now. I'm comfortable with sellers. I'm comfortable with the real estate transaction. This is a whole other animal, though, because there's so <laughs> many more things to learn that I don't know. But I feel like I'm ready to to dive into that. But I have a friend of mine who pushed me, who saw what I was doing on the residential side and saw that I how committed and how hard I work. And he... Who was that friend? <laughs> <laughs> Let the putting people it out know. on the table. <laughs> putting out our cards out on the table. Let the people know. Let the people that know. That my friend. <laughs> you know, it's a secret friend. No, no, no. no I get no credit over here, bro. I get no credit over no, here. No, my friend was covering over there. My, 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 my business partner, my friend Kevin. Yeah, Jimeno. Kevin saw he saw some future, and now he's he he's like Charlie behind the. He said the other day, <laughs> yeah. Charlie behind the what's that? The, the angels. movie, the, the angels. angels. <laughs> yeah, because it's because what we're building is an all girl team, and I'll tell you what my vision is. It's an all girl team of just real estate um, investors, and I want it. To, I have Maria now, but eventually, as we learn the game, I want to bring more women into the business because. In just real residential real estate, there's a lot of women. There's a lot of women yes. that are doing well. But the real estate um, investing world is very male dominated. There's some really amazing girls. And I'll give a shout out to Christina Spells because I love her so mm. much. She's inspiring. She's, you know, she is man. She she's is. in the St. Louis market. Yeah, I think she in, did like over two hundred and forty deals last young, year. Yeah, she's, a yeah kid. she's young. And Another she's, Miami girl, too. She's yeah, from Miami. She's a yeah. Miami girl. Yeah. Born and raised, I think. No, that's awesome, man. I mean, they know I have three daughters, so my daughters are watching you guys do what you're doing. That's going to inspire them one day, too. Yeah. So, And that's really about- the point of the show. And we want to document your story because there's a lot of people out there. There's going to be a lot of women that are going to come across this show and they're going to hear what you guys are doing. And you guys are on week one now. Yeah. And as they hear in the next couple of months what you guys are doing, the good and the bad, right? Because 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 we're gonna talk about the the door knocking. <laughs> oh God, the, the, yeah, no, it definitely as women, it is it's different because, like you said, we went driving for dollars. It's it's a different process because there's certain precautions that you have to take as a woman when you get into this business. But I feel like we shouldn't let our fears, definitely. you know. Keep us from from taking action. And that's what we did last week when we went driving for dollars. We just took action. We're aware of the fact that we're women and it's and it's different when a guy goes out and do it. But we also but it was know, good it was us two together though. That yeah, we yeah. Both I definitely that's, that's yeah. wouldn't point, go by myself. You know? Exactly. That it was, it was scary. <laughs> Cause if I would have done it by myself, I don't think I would have done half the things that I did if I just, you know. So I no, was glad I had safe, somebody next safe, to me. <laughs> going through these vacant houses and different neighborhoods, always, always to be safe. You know, there's yeah. some stories you hear about out there. And we so. had a conversation about that with Christina, what it was like for her to go into these houses by herself. And yeah, it's definitely different when you're a woman, but I don't think that it makes it 
It, it makes it, it impossible. Stop you yeah, it should stop Listen, you. Some of these houses scare me. <laughs> you see some scary things in these houses. But that's but. another thing. It's <laughs> the, like it, the woman's approach of coming in and knocking on the door, then like a guy just knocking on the door and... It's another well, male probably, behind the door. Some more They're doors like, open that me and Kevin could open. No, <laughs> no. I mean, I had that conversation with her. What I told her, I had this conversation with her, <laughs> is that it, in a way, there's advantage and disadvantages to us being women in this industry. But an advantage that we have is our approach can be a lot different to the, a male approach because Definitely. her, I'm not so much the nurturing type. I'm more just, I'm a little bit more aggressive, but she's more nurturing. And I feel like she can get across some sellers that mm -hmm. that gravitate towards her because she has a softer approach rather than the needy greedy investor that's like, I want the most money <laughs> for your house. Yeah. So I, we're gonna, guys, there's more caring involved in it. Yeah. And that picks up. Sellers so see that, you know? Yes. That's, that's, the, that's the, that's the that cash home queen dynamic. That's exactly. That. She's yeah. more of the closing, like, all right, let's get ready, done, finish. Okay. And I'm like, all right, relax, take a stick back. Okay. And then go through the process. But yeah. But we work well together. We, we both do. have the same, the same. We both have the same goal and goal. And like, we both have two different like sides, I guess, that mm -hmm. kind of contribute. Too. And we're well, that's key because people are different too. So, like, you can't deal with every person the same way. So, some yeah. people she might be better for, and Correct. you might have to come in and play the exactly. you know, good now, and vice versa. How, how are you guys right now? Or in the last week, you started cold calling. That was step one, right? Yeah. So, what kind of list did you like? How to <laughs> let's let's break it down. You got the vacant list in Broward County. We do vacant Broward County. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then we have a, a couple of tax delinquents that we had mm -hmm. from. In the homestead or the homestead, homestead area. area. Yeah. I want to start building, you know, grow, calling more lists. Like, I, there's so much. There's pre foreclosures, probates. You know, I want to call everybody. And then t <laughs> actually talk about the logistics. You're putting that list into what? What software? I'm using, we're using REI Rail to, to get the phone numbers and skip trace and get the information. And once I have the information, I'm putting it to Mojo, which is the dialer. I'm actually... I was a one man show. So that dialer only lets me dial. I think there's other options where you can add another caller. So I'm mm -hmm. looking to doing that or I'm going to just look into another system where I can have two, three callers. So why I can is have, that better than just picking up your cell phone and calling? Because it's, it's like three people at the same time. Yeah, no, yeah, it has, all together. Yeah. And then you write notes right on that person like. Hung up on me. Tell me to yeah, 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 most of them. Me. Most of them are. Most of them are. <laughs> most of them are hung up on me. Mojo's a good system. It's it's a little bit on the pricier side for a dialer, but it's a CRM and a dialer. You could dial three numbers at the same time, and you're so much more efficient. Like in an hour, I've, I started counting my numbers. I think I can get through like 150 dials. Actual contacts, depending mm -hmm. on the list, varies. Contacts, I would consider someone that you actually had a conversation mm -hmm. with that was the correct person. Because if it's a wrong number. It doesn't count, but I can get through like 150 dollars versus dialing one by one. Dialing 20 people would take me an hour, an hour yeah. because you're dialing, waiting, waiting for it for to the ring. Team. You lose so much time. When I started cold calling, I would call expires and for sub owners, and I would get the for sub owners off of Zillow and just call. And making 10 calls took me half an hour, and I was like, "This is there has to be a way to be more effective." So I invested into Mojo. And it works. It's good. I'm looking into another dialer. So I know there's one. Someone told me there's like 12 lines at the same time. I don't know how to be able to manage yeah. that. But it sounds cool. I want to look into and it. And then when people pick up the phone, what's the usual feedback and uh, energy that you I'll get? I'll let Mari. Mari is like, like, a, she's like a, a newbie cold calling. I've had more experience cold calling. So yes. she's, I'll, I'll let so you her. Get the two, there's two, obviously, two sides to the story you have the the really nice ones who would actually you know I guess people don't really call them mm -hmm. and they kind of have they are interested in hearing what you're saying and then you have the ones who have been bombarded with calls and they're already completely pissed off in a horrible mood so you kind of have to find a different way to approach them not just the same hey how are you do you want to sell your home because they're just going to hang up the phone with you like they're not going to listen to you at all um so yeah should I say a story yeah. Stories? Are we doing stories? Okay. stories? So one was super funny. Listen to this. So his name was Giovanni, right? So I'm calling Giovanni because I guess he's the owner of the property. His wife picks up 
and here's like a girl like uh-huh. asking for Giovanni. Uh-huh. It's not having it. <laughs> so I kept saying, "Who's who are you? Why are you calling Giovanni for? You have no reason to call Giovanni from New York too." <laughs> so she had an accent. She had one of the Com- New York. Yes, uh-huh. yes. So she was. She just want. She didn't care about anything. She just wanted to know who I was. was. Yeah. That's it. Nothing else. Who are you? But I <laughs> didn't handle that. Um, I mean, I told her, I was like, relax, I come in peace. <laughs> I did, I told her. She's I was funny. like, <laughs> it's funny. Like, I, I've no, that's the cute. Hey, you got to have fun on cold calling. Like, you do? <laughs> like, they don't even know, they're not looking at you. Have fun. Like, they yell at us. Oh, yeah, cool. They one thing us. that she has that I haven't seen in a lot of people that I try, because I started, I'm like one of the only ones really at my office that cold calls because mm-hmm. I was like, I'm going to figure this out. Yeah. I'm going to cold call. And it took me a while to get over them, like, being mean to me. I would get sad and stop calling for a week because it's, Really being there for two hours. Get, hold on, you would get sad for a week. I would get sad. Not, <laughs> I'd get sad and I'd start calling the next day. <laughs> but it took a lot of me to start again because you kind of d- build that fear of, oh my God, I have to call again and they're going to be mean to me again. But she's like a natural. She's one of the only people that I've told them, call, make calls. She makes the calls. And if they're mean to her, she just keeps it going, mm-hmm. keeps it going. She has her personality is going to help her a lot in this business. And it already is. Because she's not scared to do things. And then she doesn't take stuff to heart. She understands that out of 100 calls, maybe five people are going to be nice yeah, to you. And, you know, but now you've done game. thousands of calls already at this point of our year <laughs> of calling. Like, are you now feeling like... She's a like beast. Yeah, you she got can tough definitely, skin or are you still no. going through that? It takes you a while. What's the mindset? No, I mean, I've had some really, really mean people that tell me they're going to call the cops on me and like some crazy stuff like that. But at this point, I had that. I was actually texting Christina the other day. I was like, it's a good day when it's 1030 a.m. and no one has told you to F off. No. Um, um, so let me tell you. <laughs> That's funny. You got to see one thing. I love when I get told to F off, right? There's a ratio. There's a real ratio of how many people scream at you and curse at you before you get a deal. You got to find out what your ratio is in each market. But I know Monday morning, if some if it's mission calls and I got 10 F offs, <laughs> that next phone call is a deal. <laughs> so I'm sitting there like, yes. You're collecting them. Two more. Yeah, I just need two more. My wife's like, what are you doing? I'm like, Jackie, I got I need two more. <laughs> two more angry people, then we're good. <laughs> we're going to Sizzler. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And then why don't you talk about the first actual seller lead in the investment side oh, that man. wanted an offer from if you? If anybody knows Richard, can you tell him to call me back, please? No, not Richard. No, the very first one that you literally hung up the phone in like 10 oh, seconds. Oh, no. So Richard was my second one. So it's crazy because I, I was like, I got this. I've done calls. I know real estate. That's like how I am. Yeah. That's my personality. That, yeah. And then I called for my first investment deal. And I'm not comfortable with the whole negotiating aspect with the seller because on the residential side, it's so different because you're trying to go to a listing appointment or you're talking to the seller and it's mainly you selling yourself uh, the service that you can provide for them. But you want to make sure you let them know, hey, look, I can get you the most money for your house in the least amount of time. That's like the cliche realtor saying, but that's really what we do. And now that I was switching over to the investing side, you're in a way trying to get the property for for the best price possible, not promising them that you can get them top dollar. So it was like a mindset shift. And I guess that kind of, I got a little taken aback by it. And the first call, I bombed. It was horrible. <laughs> she was like, no, I think this is what Zillow's is. My house is worth this. And I went, yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, okay, bye. Because <laughs> you were trying to win a listing. I was like, You were trying to get a listing from before. Before, yeah. I was not yeah. used to being yeah, yeah. on that side. I was, I was so you hung terrified. Up? No, no, I was it terrified. was literally like, you're she right, you're up. right. Okay, <laughs> goodbye, ping. <laughs> you <should've got> <laughs> it was awesome. Oh, it was awesome. No, but I've gotten better. I've made progress. I almost got my first deal, but it still if you works. guys know yeah. Richard, I think he's in, um, no. what state? He's actually in yeah. um, Florida. In in, in the Broward area, right? Right? no, it was this in the Wilton Manors area. Okay, call, tell him Florida. to call me back, please. I have so an have offer called, for when's him. When's the last time you talked to him? I, I spoke to him. It was a couple of days Sunday. ago. Sunday. Sunday. Is he or doing Monday. the phone? Is the thing where you can't find him now, or what? It was the thing is that I'm not comfortable yet with giving the offers like right then and there so I'll do my research and then I'll call them back and I told him hey let me look at some numbers with my manager I'll call you back I'll give you an offer but then he's not picking up my calls but he'll show up that happens he will I'll call him or or you know I'll I'll call him until he picks up up. you see like that's that's the key I'll follow up from different numbers today we'll 
call from a different number. Yeah, yeah. follow up is tenacious, man. Yeah. I got a call road. Get like eight numbers in there, just call. <laughs> yeah, one. yeah, I'm not scared. And then they'll pick up. But I have a funny story, yeah, like a little funny story that I say about calling, following up with buyers or sellers or whatever you do, <laughs> is you'll call them from a different number and I'll be like, hey, oh, so you are alive. All right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then Mari, you you had the, uh, what was she, from Jamaica, the, your first seller call that you were negotiating here? Oh, that's what we My did Jamaican, here, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, that was, that was, which you need to, to follow to up because she said she was gonna call you back, and she never did. Right. So I can't wait for her. Like, to call not me. at all. So In fact, you gotta make that happen this week for sure. But this is interesting because then we'll see our progress yeah. in in a couple of days. But be, we're gonna wrap up the show with the driving for dollar story. Oh so tell God. the story, Mari. Give the yeah, story. Yeah, a better story than tell me. It. Okay, so she decided, she's like, today's Sunday, we're driving for dollars. I'm like, at least what's driving for dollars? She's like, don't worry about it. I got this. I was like, okay, I'll let me just, you know. So she used my Shopping. car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I had to drive too because her car, or her wheels my popped wheels or something. So yeah, we drove pops. all the way to, where were we? I think it was, Lauderdale. Lauderdale. it was Lauderdale or North Lauderdale. I think it, it, it looked like it was. Yeah. So it was right in front of the the. <laughs> no, the no. Yeah, it was right in front of the um, what's it called? The swap shop. The swap shop. Okay. That I was okay. just like, if anything around the swap shop, it's not really a good area. <laughs> in the hood. Yeah, kinda. So we're driving around, and literally we make a left, <clears throat> and in that first house we saw, we both looked at each other. We're like, oh my god, this is it, because it was literally <laughs> filled with. It was like a hoarder's house, you know, yeah. that you go in and there's things outside and you yeah, can literally you see, see that, from inside yeah. and there's more things inside. So, and we're trying to like get the, um, <laughs> trying to get the um, address, the address, correct. With, we're You're using, using, we're using app, right? yeah, Deal Machine. Yeah, Deal we're machine, using Deal Machine to pick up. a picture of it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But we have to kind of like put in the address first and then locate mm -hmm. it. Anyway, so we're. Kind of going back and forth in my car, right? And then I don't have tinted windows yet, so I have to get that. <laughs> and it's like Deli's next to me. <laughs> and I'm driving literally back and forth, back and forth, back trying and forth. Trying to get the address? Yes, trying to get the address. <laughs> and this guy comes out pissed, like pissed off. And you have like a Lexus or something. And I right? do, I do. <laughs> so I'm driving my Lexus with my windows down, going back and forth. This guy's not having it, comes out. And then Deli literally looks at me and she's like, all right. Right, let's go, let's go. Let's go let's just go. go. Let's drive, just drive, go. just go. Yeah, and I just looked at her and I've never seen her like that before ever because she's super like, all right, let's go and she'll talk aggressive. to us. Yeah, she's super aggressive. And for the first time, she just kind of like, no, 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 just go. Got it, got it. We're in Ikea. We're in Ikea when this is happening. Listen to this story. Oh, oh yeah, you guys call us. <laughs> we're buying these chairs. Yeah, and then I was just like, hey, sir, how are you? So um, we're investors in the area. Would you? And he's like, not having it. Literally, he's like, just leave. I was like, it's time for us to go. So I was like, don't worry about it. <laughs> and then the funny part is we, we still wanted the picture of the house. We did. Yeah, yeah. So we were like, oh, my God, do we go back? But if he's out there, he's going to come back with a shotgun and, and, and shoot us. So we waited. And when we finished our drive, we went back and we took the picture. Stop, yeah. And, you know, we drove off like. <laughs> <laughs> but you got the picture, right? He did. We, we got, got it. Picture. We're gonna start oh. mailing him. Yes, now. That's, nah. we're gonna start mailing nah, him. I am impressed, man. They hit. At least, I think we got close to 40 houses already. And that's a really hot area. Yeah. And there's a lot of good property. Anybody yeah. who wants to use the, the Deal Machine app, we'll have a special for you in the show notes. So make sure you click on the show notes and we'll give you guys a special deal. Those guys are cool. I talked to them in Dallas also. Um, all right. So listen, in 30 days, the challenge is Yay. contracts Yay. and closing. Sweating. <laughs> contracts and closing. You said five deals? You get five? Sweating. That's all five. That's all five. <laughs> We'll, we'll do one. No, right, we have this. a goal at least in the next 30 days to get our first deal, so, each one. Well, okay. what, what, let's talk about overall goals. Let's talk about overall fears of what you're about to jump into. And then we'll end on that. So what's, let's start with the fears. What's some of the, the things Besides you have the in your mind? dollars in the bed. <laughs> you with the I think it's just not knowing really like what's going to happen. You're mm -hmm. just kind of like, all right, I'm going with it. But you, there's no assurance that, you know you're going to get a deal or you're you not. Just came, it's just persistence. Because so you came kinda, from a job that was... I mean, I'm still secure. there. I'm still working at, yeah, at the restaurants. I'm mm -hmm. there like three days a week, which I told her, I'm like, I'm done with this place. My coworkers probably want to fire me right mm -hmm. now. <laughs> and you had told me like there was one day that you were there like on a Tuesday and you did like 
for barely some made words. anything. No, I know. And, and then I, you close your deal. Well, she got the bag. She, yeah, that like, thing. She secured the bag, Kevin. She said a nine dollar <laughs> check. She's like, screw this. You're like, this, uh, <laughs> it's not gonna work out yeah, here anymore. Kind of. What about you? What's uh, you've been? You've been killing the game on the residential side. So now shifting, I mean, you're still doing residential, but now shifting and spending time on this. What's some of the fears or, or challenges? It's really like the biggest challenge is just managing both time. sides because mm-hmm. I have so much going on on the residential side. And then it, this is like another added on um you know, just added on job. Everything, yeah, it's a whole different. This thing. takes time, so I'm I'm seeing. I brought a new girl along today. I have Maria on my team, and I have another girl that I have on my team. And my goal is to eventually be able to hand off a lot of the residential and train her in a way that she really services my clients. Because I I'm passionate about the residential real estate, and I love it, and I'm not gonna stop doing it. But I want to also build this. So I'm building both things, and it's 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 challenging. Because there's only so many hours in a day and there's only so much I can do. And there's so much that I want to do. So let's So see. a year from now, the Cash Home Queens are where and doing what? Oof. Put it out into the universe. Seriously, put that shit in out. Paris. <laughs> Manifest. Paris. Manifest. Living the life. Are you moving to Paris? Paris. <laughs> living the life. I think, well, we both talked about it saying that, I mean, like we said, we do love real estate, but being a realtor, it's not something you want to kind of. Depend Be on. Do, yeah, yeah, and do it in the long run for like 20, 30 years. I think I'm on it, what, three months? And some realtors are already driving me crazy. And I, <laughs> How, like, how we'll long before you guys hit your first six-digit month? Let's oh put it out there God. right now. First six-digit month. Call it out. What's the goal? If we're focused and consistently doing this, I'm pretty sure in a year we can definitely. Yeah. yeah. We can hit, we can so you're saying, you're saying on the show for a year. Oh One year. In 12 months, you, you're gonna hit. 12 months. you can't say, you know, if we are, just say in a year from now, we're going to have our first six figure month. Yep. Boom. There we Done. go. Done. Finished. So we'll follow up with you guys on May 8th, 2020. Ooh. <laughs> it's my favorite shot. number, too, so maybe. <laughs> With a profit and loss statement. <laughs> <laughs> imagine, imagine. And, we'll, and the, the best thing about us is that we're so real about, and we're going to be real about the whole process. Yes, we, the good things that we did, the bad things that we did. And, you know, hopefully people can learn through our journey because we're just regular girls, you know, out here trying to make it. We're nobody special. So. <laughs> you are a special girl. Don't <laughs> let nobody tell I'm you special, that. but sometimes like my friends think I'm special, but the other guys <laughs> <laughs> not special in a special way. Um, but, and yeah. hopefully really like long term goals, like we really want to have a team of women. I'm sorry if men get insulted <laughs> of women that are in you the shouldn't. business and, and we're helping them grow and. And they're grinding with us and they're really driven the way that we are. That's awesome. That's really long term. But for That's now, awesome. let's just try to get our first deal. No, 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 you, you didn't say like a money thing. It's like you have like a, a vision. Like yeah. that, and that's yeah. the thing is the real estate, whatever it is, have a vision, not a money goal, because that's what's going to get you to where you want to go. You know, yeah. uh, that why. That's the why. Yeah. And so. for the next four weeks, shut up and invest. <laughs> shut up and invest. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Right. We girls, appreciate cash you girls home queens on. in the house. How can they follow you? Oh, follow me, follow me. Please follow <laughs> me on Instagram, cash home, <laughs> cash home queens on Instagram. Uh, we created a YouTube channel. We're going to start posting our journey through there too, through video. Video diary. Yeah, like a, a video diaries, like blogs, kind of. We have one already actually for our first experience driving for dollars. We're going to start putting more content and cash home queens also. So subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's all yes. I have for now. Eventually we'll have more <laughs> stuff. But That's good. All right. And the show notes, you'll connect with them. Always, J Money. Anything else? Hey, I'm uh, excited about helping them out. It, it cut off. Yeah, video's cut off. <laughs> well, audio. I'm happy, excited about helping you girls out and just, you know, seeing the journey. Yeah, you know, and just working with people who we love—that's the good thing, man. Exactly. So, all right, ladies, four weeks. Let's get to work. Let's get, yeah. Get all right, ready to go. We're out. Go make right. calls. <laughs> <laughs> for real. Hey, thank you once again for listening to Shut Up and Invest. If you guys are motivated at the thought of continuing your real estate journey with us, then visit shutupandinvest.com. There, you can join our community and take advantage of more free resources. And don't forget. Please like, comment, and subscribe to this podcast so you're first to hear our new content every week. Most importantly, get active and don't forget to shut up and invest.